up morning guys welcome to today it is mother's day weekend my favorite weekend and i feel like sam's already getting in the mood for it so i'm just gonna go with that <laughs> because if he wants to be like kind and and do nice things for me i like that chicken she's like thick and she's cute i really like that chicken she's so fat and cute sophie really likes this chicken because she's thick and cute oh, and a rebel cute. she's a rebel are you a rebel no is gabby a rebel yeah. Not really. I'm not a rebel. Actually, I'm probably the most rebel-like in our family. Actually, no, I'm going to be since I'm going to have a motorcycle. Sophie's going to be a rebel because she's going to have a motorcycle. Okay. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to Mother's Day weekend. Sam and I have been out the are down there, by the way. doing all of our shopping, our Saturday shopping. I forgot you guys at home. I'm sorry. Hi, Jenny. Anyways, I did something crazy besides, by, besides leasing a horse for Sophie. <laughs> Another thing that was crazy. You might not think it's that crazy, but I left my pig down at the barn while we were gone. Like, she has to get used to being in the barn. She hates it. Look at little Lola. Molly, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie loves Lola because Lola's sweet like Ellie. Cricket. She loves cricket. Hey, what's just sweeter than cricket? Anyway, I left my pig down here. Get off of me. <laughs> This is what happens when you come to the day-by-day -day farm. Goat yoga. Okay, you don't even get to That little white one, that small one lays this egg. Yeah, two egg, two chickens come down here. This is two days worth of their chicken, their eggs. They come down and lay here. Anyway, this, I don't let them out until like the dew dries on the grass so the babies don't get soaked. Especially because it's not super hot yet. But just wait, listen, I came down this morning and she was pressed up against this door peeking out like that. And then one of her babies had his nose right outside the door thing and he wanted out too. So they're getting out. Come on out, baby. Get your babies. Okay. She's like, what about my babies? They actually love being outside. You're warm and toasty. Here they come. Mom, feel how warm this thing is. Feel how warm it is. Oh, you're so cozy. All right, help me find my pig. They're so cute. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> she was a good girl. And then there's a chicken. Come here, piggy. Oh, you look so dirty. What happened? I put sunscreen on you. How come you're still... Oh my gosh, she's been rooting. Can you see? <laughs> she's been digging in the grass. Let's go. You want to go home? You want to go in the house and have a nice big drink? I left a big bucket of water that she can reach. Well, she's doing better, actually. I'm going to get more sunscreen and put it on her, though, because she actually she gets a little bit of burn every time I leave her out here, and it's not even very sunny yet. Hi, baby. Do you want to go up to the house? Come on. You can come with us. Come on. That pig must weigh 50 pounds now. She's still really small looking. <laughs> Ellie! But she's fat. She eats all that. But she's heavy. I'm very afraid that she eats food we don't want her to eat. <laughs> she eats whatever she can. I really want to get my garden done. Tomorrow is Mother's Day and I know that means that my whole family will come outside and help me finish all the projects that I have on the go. I have a lot of projects on the go but i don't want the garden to be one of the projects because i have so many and we will run out of time so i'm going to try and finish this one myself i decided that this pole here will be where i will cut off my garden so this is how much more i have to do just this little bit here and then i'm going to cut this grass and just let the grass grow in this end listen listen if you can hear this sound The house up on the hill across the road has peacocks and they sound like cats meowing kind of. And it goes on all day and I love one, the sound of it. I love listening to them. And two, I love that we're not the only noisy neighbors on the street. All right, it is supper time. So I have to go in and eat, but this is how much I got done. I had four chickens, the four rebel chickens that keep escaping the yard. So I'm almost done here. I did probably this much. <laughs> maybe I don't know it's hard it's a lot of work I'm going to that pole there right where the wheelbarrow is that's I just have this little tiny bit left I love it though I can like sit here I'm gonna be able to sit here in my garden and watch the horses 
and we're gonna have a new horse. We are having Mother's Day dinner with my family tomorrow, so we decided to do like our own little Mother's Day thing tonight. So Sam just got it and, and called me for dinner, but I wanted to tell you guys how excited I am about Sophie's horse and why. So I'm gonna tell you guys that in just a few seconds, just in, in a few minutes. But look at how cute my dog is. Isn't she like the cutest dog? Like she is cute. One of the things I was worried about getting a Yorkie, it was that I don't find a lot of them very cute. And I was worried that I'd hate her. <laughs> so I would find her ugly. I find her so cute. I got these things today. Every time I, every time I find them, I get so excited because I love these for the grandkids for summer. They're the little things that you put in your water. This is Anya's favorite spot. She's watching the baby chickens. She's like, I want to catch you. <laughs> We are having Chinese tonight. I don't love Chinese, but I got it voted. Early Mother's Day. Early Mother's Day celebration. And the reason I don't love it is because I don't love how, how like sugary it is. But every once in a while, you just gotta That's live a little. Though. I literally spent the whole day outside cutting grass. I cut grass all around my garden. Sophie really ditches her babies. And then I finished my garden. Sophie says I have to do the whole thing because she wants to plant pumpkins. But actually, you can still plant pum pumpkins in this messy spot. And carrots. Well, carrots you can plant okay, up there. Rosie can't find her babies. So Rosie can't, can't find her babies. Are you coming with us? <laughs> you think she'd be like tired of this place because I always lock her down here. Watch, oh wait, oh, open it. And watch her go over the, over the thing. Watch, she can go over. Come on, hurry up. Okay, She's so funny. <laughs> what are you guys doing up there? <laughs> Hopefully no baby babies are up there. This is actually not good that she can't find her babies. Where are your babies? Why are you not a good mom? <laughs> there they are. Your babies are fine. <laughs> Goats are kind of dumb. I swear, every time you get a new yeah. horse, oh. Uh oh. You need this one. Oh, help. This one's my favorite. I can't even film when we're bringing in all the goats now because there's just so Come many. On, Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Can you bring that pocket? Yeah. Come on, Rosie. Come on, pretend you love your babies. Oh, look at her milk. Actually, her udder's not so bad. She, she actually has like, not a bad udder in she some ways. She obviously does not because she leaves them. Come on. Oh my gosh. Rosie, put show her her babies. Show her. Put them down a little. Look. There you go. Yeah, hey, 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 hey! Uh, you need to open that door also. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Goats never stop being wild. Anyway, <laughs> what I was trying to say is that every time you get a new horse, you have like this short honeymoon period where everybody's like, wow, it's so cool, it's so nice, like, Everybody gets excited, everything is wonderful. And then, before you know it, there's like this crash. <laughs> like something always happens. And so that's like a big thing for me. Like I always hate that part of getting a new horse. It happens with every horse. Like, and not even anything bad has to happen with the horse, but there's always this feeling after like, I don't know, like every time you get a new horse, you have to make it your own. And it's stressful. Like. There's this huge learning that has to happen between the two of you. Like Sophie has to learn her and she has to learn Sophie. There's always like little bumps in the road, which is fine, but just stressful. Anyways, so I've been like a little bit stressed about getting this horse, even though I love her. Like I love her. She's goofy and funny and sweet. And literally we gave her a treat for the first time ever. She's never really had treats before. We gave her a treat for the first time ever and now she meets us at the gate. She's like, she's in love with us. <laughs> she's adorable. But I just like, I don't know how to say it in the right way. People are gonna misunderstand me. I don't love the journey. I don't love the full journey. I love the end and I love the very beginning, but getting to the end <laughs> is hard. It's hard work. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of energy. It's just a lot of work, but anyways, I'm still excited. But anyway, the whole point was that, of this story is that my friend, I was talking to my friend this morning and she was like, she loves the horse. She loves how she moves. She thinks that she's, Sophie's such a good, they, she thinks that she's 
gonna be so good for Sophie. And anyways, just talking to like someone that's positive and, and hearing their perspective sometimes puts this whole new spin on things. And now I'm excited and I'm not even gonna think about the things that happen in between getting to know them and them being a team. I'm not even gonna think about like all the things that, all the stressful parts. I'm just gonna think about the happy part. So hopefully we get her this week. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna show her you guys, show her to you guys. I'm gonna make a special video to show her. Kind of like the birthday video I made for Gabby. I'm gonna make one like that for Sophie. And so that'll be coming soon. And like hopefully by the end of this week, I'll be able to show you guys that. Uh, if not, it'll be next week. I don't know. We're still waiting on a few things. Do you guys hear that? Listen. Do you hear it? That sounds like meow, meow. It's peacocks. <laughs> not louder than my pig. Oh my gosh, I lost the pig. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, all that to say that I'm now really excited about Sophie's horse. I can't wait to actually share the parts of you that I'm excited about. Like the things that my friend was telling me about this this horse and and what other people are doing with, with this specific kind of horse. And I don't know, it's just really exciting now. I'm really excited about it. Sophie, Sophie, are you excited? Yeah. What are you most excited about? I don't know. Are you shocked it's a mare? Yeah. I know, I didn't know if it was a mare or a, not a mare, but all I knew was that the horse was funny. I thought it was a gelding. I assumed it was a gelding and it wasn't, it was dark and it wasn't really really tall because I thought Sophie was gonna get a really really tall horse but nope it's a shorty not a shorty but it's not super tall because a lot of them we looked at were like 17.1 so we're 17 hands high and Sophie did not want that look how much the grass grew I, I hate that it's like all messy down here like I like a nice clean you know when you go and you see people in their goat field and it's all like um straw and it's all like pretty and nice and the goats just run around I love that look, but I like that they have food in here better. <laughs> Don't you know that